Let me also bring in Javier Gonzalez, who's joining us uh, from uh, London. Javier, thanks so much for being with us this afternoon. Let me also understand from you, uh, you know, what is the kind, what is the kind of reaction coming in on the London Stock Exchange given this deal? What does it also mean for Diageo? How are you uh, viewing uh, this deal over there? Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, we see it uh, very positively strategically for Diageo because um, it obviously brings a significant. Uh, um, route to market and scale to Diageo in such an important market like uh, India. Um, the acquisition price is obviously uh, a little bit uh, high, but I would say that given the strategic importance and uh, the low profitability of this business and what Diageo can bring in terms of improving the efficiency and uh, the performance, improving the performance of this business, um, the, the the deal is uh, likely to be uh, seen as as very positive and from from a financial metric point of view. All right. Uh to stay with us, Javier, let me go back to um, Nikhil as well. Nikhil, of course, the key question which we were also discussing with you right now in terms of what uh, what really Mr. Maria is going to be doing with that money. Uh, going ahead, if, if, if there's the expectation is that he's not going to pump all of it into Kingfisher, then what do you expect him to do with it? Where do you think they could be best used, those funds coming in? I mean, on our last estimation, anywhere from 3,500 to, to 4,000 crores, somewhere in the middle there, that's what the number is going to be like. But I will go back to Nikhil in just a moment there. But uh, Javier, we were talking about, of course, uh, how uh, you know you you said Diageo was to uh, benefit from this deal as well. Uh, in terms of the pricing of the deal coming in, it's a good premium, uh, especially given that it's a company. USL is a company in the emerging markets as well, and a, a very major player here in India. Uh, when it comes to the pricing, uh, how would you react? Well, we are. Uh, I mean, we're getting the first uh, <coughs> details of the deal. We're calculating uh, that um, the sales, sales multiple will be, the implied sales multiple will be less than three times. Now, uh, strategic deals that we've seen in the industry uh, globally um, have been coming through at, uh, in many cases, four, four and a half times sales. So, uh, from that perspective, it's not such a pricey transaction. I guess the low multiple on sales is also reflective of the low margin that the uh, that United Spirits uh, currently generate. I believe it's around 12.5% as of the latest uh, annual report. Um, you know, if you compare that with uh, uh, Diageo's global spirits business or <coughs> many of the other companies we follow here in Europe that are also global, um, spirits businesses will generate debit margins of 25% um, or higher. Um, so <coughs> there is clearly an opportunity here going forward uh, for Diageo to mm, run this business more efficiently and therefore um, make a significant financial return from this. Right. Uh, Javier, just wanted to check with you. There was a, a, a lot of uh, talk about the fact that there may be some antitrust issues in UK when it comes to USL uh, owning the White and McCoy set of brands uh, and uh, United Spirits may have to sell that or hive it off. Uh, any clarification or, or that you've received from Diageo's end, whether that has been sorted out or is that a caveat in the deal going forward that that will have to be first resolved before this deal can be closed? Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, I mean, too early to say, but uh, I wouldn't see that as any um, potential, uh, becoming a potential big hurdle for the uh, transaction. At the end of the day, Diageo will be able to supply many other Scotch brands that has under its ownership an umbrella. Um, and in some cases, uh, uh, much more premium brands than than, than White and Mackay. So I wouldn't see that as a, as a, as a major hurdle at all. Right, Javier, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon.